my computer restarted and are sorry for that ugly backlight my butt my my computer restarted hey guys so today in this video we're going to be gearing up for another continental pheasant shoot i did one of these last year on my channel is the well first or second video on my channel ever so that makes my channel pretty much almost a year old so yeah um but this video we're gonna be doing more but it's not gonna be just seven minutes long it's not just gonna be me just filming cool stuff we're gonna actually gear up we're going to do a different camera angle this time it's called a shot cam if you don't know what it is it's basically a gun camera it mounts onto your shotgun and it shows video of you shooting at pheasants we're gonna do that and then we might do the classic head mount gopro but yeah, it's going to be cold tomorrow. Today was 4 degrees. Yesterday they canceled school because it was negative 20. Well, the wind chill was in the negative 20s. And there was snow on the ground and ice. So they had to cancel school yesterday. But enough chit-chatting. Let's get to the video. It would be pretty fun. And last year I took this backpack. But this year I'm taking this backpack because this backpack is much better. Anyway, so I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by the phone, um, I'm going to use this backpack. Because this backpack has a big fat lump in it. Oh, shoot, I touched the tape. They're working on our house, right? There's people working in our house right now. Not right now at this moment as we speak. But they are every day working. Yeah. So I have some waterproof gloves here. Those might come in handy. So set that over there. My phone is going to die, because I film on my phone, for those of you who don't know. But yeah, so basically, if I had a dollar for every time I freaking drop this camera, do you know how freaking rich I would be? There's a clock in here, because we had to shove things in random places, because of our house being worked on. But, here is what I'm talking about, with the lump. It's like that. It's a big fat, ouch. The big fat, uh, pouch, or lump. And it makes my bag uncomfortable and hard for it to put in. Jade, can you shut up? I'm trying to record here. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. There's nothing out here. I don't know what my dog's barking at. So I need to get t-shirt underwear i haven't checked the temperature but i assume it's going to be cold because there's snow um i need long underwear nice pair of woolly socks and then a long t-shirt now this is going to be what i call the first layer so if you don't know in a conservation magazine or at least the explore ones like the explore here in missouri basically the kid missouri conservationist magazine um they have these, they, in one of their books, they have something on how to dress warm, and there's layer one, which is like a long sleeve t-shirt, and like some long underwear, the next layer is like sweatpants, and like a hoodie, and then the third layer is like your woolly coat, and your woolly pants, and boots, and gloves, and a hat, and a scarf, so, that's yeah, so basically, that's layer one, we're gonna go up to layer three, so, well, for the most part, well, kind of. Um, I need to get some camouflaged pants. I think I have, yeah, I have a really wooly pair right here. So, sort of the bottom layer, and then the top layer, we need to get a hoodie. Took some searching, but I found a hoodie in my closet. Glove one and glove two. Um, for my face, I'm gonna wear this balaclava, this little camo one I got for Christmas last year. And then I'm gonna wear this trapper hat which is buckled right here for some reason so yeah probably gonna wear the trapper hat with the balaclava pretty sure my gopro is down here in the basement how you doing mr turkey ah here he is have this and then some gardettos from a super bowl party go chiefs got a gopro right there trying to set up my camera sort of along these tacks i'll tell i'll show you a picture of them they're really sharp okay so okay. 
excuse me. Uh, I don't have a bedroom door, so I can't close it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna pop this open. Here's my GoPro. Well, it isn't a GoPro. It's an Acaso, which is basically a knockoff version of a GoPro. I'm gonna empty out the SD card in there. And get it ready for tomorrow. Don't worry, I have nothing. I have literally everything that has been filmed on this camera in the past five months is literally worthless. So in other words, it's not useful at all. I can't pop that open, so I'm gonna get like a screwdriver or something. Uh, here. I'll just grab this, uh, um, I'll just grab this pocket knife right there, and I'll just, uh, uh -oh. I'm just gonna take this really, really tiny pocket knife, and I'm gonna carefully pry this open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it like that. Oh wait, no, it goes. It's supposed to be open right there. Okay. Here is the dead battery. By the way, I like these batteries because they have little tabs to pull the batteries out. Old battery. And I'm gonna find a different GoPro battery to put in here. So what I do to check them is I either put them on the charger, and if the green light shows, whenever if there's a red light above the battery then i charge it that means it's dead or i put it in my camera to see if it's good so for this test because i don't feel like plugging in because all except for one outlet in my room is being um, used right now or is taped up like that's a power outlet right come on move move like, that's a power outlet. Don't worry. That's just, like, a TV thingy right there. It's just, like, some sort of TV thingy, majigger bob or something. Um, so I'm just going to put this in here. Um, I'm going to turn on my camera real quickly. Caso, this is a EK7000. Um, here's a test clip. So this battery's good. This one is the dead one. And then we need... So there's a good one that was dead. And then here's the next battery. Let's see if this one is good or bad. Let's turn it on. Let's see if it turns on. There you go. Um, it is dead. So dead. This one is... Uh, so these two are dead. So I need to throw these on the charger. Then I'm just going to stick, well you know my phone's almost dead too, then I'm just going to stick this one in there for now. Mm. Okay. Alright, and then, oh yeah, I have to empty out the SD card, so yeah. Other than that, I think we're set for tomorrow. Just got to empty this, and then we're all set. Except I can't find my coat and stuff. I, my coat is in my dad's truck and my dad's at work, so. Got to modify it in there. I just need to tighten it up a bit. Okay. Okay, now I just need to tighten the tube. Okay. Okay, it's tightened, so this is the shotgun I'm going to be using. It's a different shotgun than what I used in the last video. Don't worry, there's no one above me. This is a safe direction to shoot. Action is open. The safety is on. So, this is a 
Winchester SX3 20 gauge model. It's um, real tree adventure. I use this for duck hunting because my Mossberg is a pump, but it's but I'm short handed on it a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna use and because the pheasants are gonna be flying everywhere, like in last video. Um, I'm gonna be using semi-automatic and uh, with seven and a half shells. Um, yeah, so I got a recoil pad and a strap. But let me show you the new camera I'm gonna be using. So let me just do this real quick. Where I have this gun laying on a blanket and a couch, it's not touching anything. Delicious. I'm not gonna be filming much more with my phone because it's almost dead. Friend that he's known him for like 50 years or something. I don't know. Hi. So before I look like Mickey Mouse, let me take those off. Um, before we start, uh, we need to do like a little safety. for the afternoon shoot. Round it up. A little safety thingy. Also, it looks like I'm filming on a different camera because I am, because my phone died. There you go, buddy. Get it. Get on it. Say direction. Here comes one, Gary. Gary. Pop him. Good yeah. Shot. Yeah. Nice. There you go, Gary. There you go, Gary. <laughs> Oh, you got it! You <laughs> golden baby in it! There you go. Get Come on, here, buddy. Come here. Get it. Get, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got him. I got, I got one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I just woke up and got done editing. Um, 
If you'd like this video, please check out my other pheasant hunting video, which wasn't as long, but it was still pretty fun. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.